at a dinner party I regularly attend. It's a free will offering. It started out years ago as a lavish spread. People were very generous. Slowly, the quality declined and people were less generous. Some people go to dinner now before coming to the dinner. If you try to explain to young people how nice the dinner used to be in the past, they don't believe things were ever better in the past. In business, there's always a tension between marketing and operations. Marketing wants to overpromise, and operations has to deliver on it. One sounds uh, pretty good, and the other one's always under the gun to deliver. In President Trump's campaign ads that are running right now, he asks us to donate, but only if we can afford it. He quickly adds that he knows we can't because he knows we're not doing very well. He's an operations person who's trying to deliver. If things are going well for you, then vote for Kamala because everything she says sounds really good because it's good marketing. There's always a hierarchy baked into culture. Someone's always marginalized. None of us want to be that person. It's the inconvenient truth that there aren't enough people around anymore not to be one of those people. Welcome. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. At Conservative Coffee Hour, we've been uh, on the topic of conservative messaging for almost four years now. The reason it's so hard to find it is because it's coming out of the operations side of things. We're not very good marketers. I saw the first part of the debate this week. It was basically the idea that things aren't that bad and we should just continue with the program. Also the theme of turning the next page, but whose page are we on right now? President Trump asked Kamala, if you had all these amazing ideas, why weren't you doing them already? She had a good thing going and she didn't want to upset that. She said Trump was handed $70 million when he started out on a silver platter, but she was handed the entire country along with Joe Biden, and all they did with it is run it into the ground. Kamala said they had to clean up the mess that President Trump left behind. So basically, she's telling us we have the choice between mommy or daddy, good cop or bad cop. It's pretty simple. Everyone wants to be a nice person and mind their manners. But cool is a luxury we can't afford anymore. Kamala managed to make the focus of the debate about immigrants eating cats, while avoiding taking responsibility for anything that she's been a part of. That's why it's hard to hear conservative messaging, because it's often not very good marketing. There is a hierarchy baked into society and culture. Society continues to marginalize more and more people. It's the tyranny of the minority against the majority. We're always searching for the solution to societal problems, and we go back and forth between public and private solutions, while we should be looking at the outcomes of where we are right now. If you look at that, there's only one answer to the turning the page. It means getting rid of Biden and Harris. If you would like to join us at Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. I'll include my email in the description of this video. Be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.